this is the sorry tale of a screwdriver. <laughs> this screwdriver I've had since 1995. So does that put it at, what, 22 years old? And it's totally had it. I mean, if you look at the end here, it's blunt and it tends to just shear screws, tends to turn in the hole without really doing more than giving the screws some damage. It may work a little bit, but I think it's had a good life, 20 years. This was probably part of the first toolkit I bought initially just to do PC parts with. But because I've started throwing away some of my old screwdrivers, I decided to get this. I'm not sure it's probably the best quality of product, but it's good enough. It will do the trick. It's a giant 58-piece uh, screwdriver set in a carry case. Now, the carry case is covered in kind of plastic flash. Screwdrivers are not too bad. There's a, a variety of the different lengths, Phillips and Posies. A set of these adapter tools, Torx, Phillips, some tiny little things. This was useful for tweaking something that was broken on my 3D printer. There's quite a lot wrong with my 3D printer. There's a rather useful stubby screwdriver for uh, small spaces, and longer ones for larger spaces. The tool for these is this, which has got a nice long shaft and it's got a fairly uh, small collar there. So you might be able to get into some smaller spaces with that. These have a little bit of metal swarf on them uh, where they've been cut. So they'll need a bit of a wipe down with some kitchen roll or something just to get rid of the swarf on them it'll do me nicely in my lab again it's not we're not talking a really expensive beautiful set we're talking one just to do the job and I'll be finding somewhere to mount this perhaps see if I can just hang this somewhere on the tool wall goodbye to the old screwdriver and in with a bunch of new ones I may even find there's a few kits here that are still in good condition but two or three are replaced by this one set and that will save me space in the tool wall because I'd rather have one set with many different kinds and lots of different sets, I think. If you've enjoyed this tiny little tool segment, thank you very much. And uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, comments below. You can probably tell me what you think of the Rolson tools because I've been getting them because they're kind of relatively cheap on Amazon. If you want to see more of what I've been doing with my tools and if you want to see what I've been building with the tools, like these robots back here, then subscribe and have a look around on my channel. Goodbye and see you next time.